Today marks two years since Arlene Alvarez was shot and killed while riding in the backseat of her father's truck. Her family and the community coming together to remember Arlene and now a special prosecutor is re-examining the case. Marcelino Benito it was with the Alvarez family today and Marcelino what did they tell you? Well Ron and Rekha, today is such a difficult day for the Alvarez family as they relive the awful moments that took Arlene's life two years ago. Together with friends and family they marked the anniversary of her death with emotional tributes. gathered at Arlene's grave in southeast Houston for a special dove release. Beautiful white birds flew up into the sky to honor and celebrate Arlene's life. Two years since her tragic death, Arlene's mom Gwen tells me the pain is just as strong, but so is their renewed commitment to justice. The love that we have for my baby is so strong. Our bond was so strong, especially because she's my firstborn. And, you know, we're never going to give up on her. And receiving by receiving justice for her is going to give us a little bit of peace. It's not going to make up for her coming back to us. Earlier in the day, the family also held a special tribute mass for Arlene at Immaculate Heart of Mary Church. Arlene's mother speaking out after the mass for the first time after learning her daughter's case has been reopened. It's so messed up how he killed my daughter. And he's still having this reckless behavior. He shows no remorse. I would have thought that him by killing my daughter, he would have learned his lesson and he still hasn't. In July of 2022, a Harris County grand jury declined to indict Tony Earls. He's the man who shot the Alvarez's family truck, striking Arlene. It all happened shortly after police say Earls was robbed at gunpoint at a bank ATM. Earls said he thought he was shooting at the robbery suspect's vehicle. Arlene's family maintains what Earls did was not only wrong, but criminal, and their hopeful new information could lead to a different outcome and justice for their daughter. I'll have more from the family coming up at 5. Back to you. Such a sad case, Sarah. Thank you so much, Marcelino.